I actually love this. I'm, I'm a big fan of Morcia. I eat this all day. Oh, this is so good. There you go. Oh my God. The textures of all the organs. Mm, very spicy. Wow. It's super spicy, bro. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's been here in Daegu, South Korea, Korea's fourth largest city. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to take you to the top of 83 Tower to get an incredible view over the entire city. I mean the views from up there look amazing and then after this we're going to Silmon Market, one of the most traditional markets here in Daegu and they're going to eat some delicious street food. Are you ready to go up and see Daegu? from the top of 83 tower, let's go. The reason this tower is called 83 tower is because it has 83 floors. The observation deck's on the 77th floor and they also have a restaurant on the 78th floor. I don't know exactly what's on the 83rd floor, but there is a level up there. It might be a second observation deck, it just didn't show it to me on the map. And here are the tickets, ticket booth. 10, might be 10, maybe 10. Oh wow, so if you want to go eat the restaurant, it's 50 to 90. <laughs> That's a buffet. They also have a buffet in Seoul Tower. Yeah, I went there once. It's phenomenal, man. <laughs> I just ate so much. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought our tickets and then we took the elevator all the way up to the 77th level. And as you can see, it tells you the 83rd floor is coming soon. So they're going to open an observation deck there as well, but it's not open yet. And here we go. Let's see the views. Whoa, this is amazing. This is really beautiful. I mean, I love coming to observation decks. I've been to so many. Kyoto Tower, Tokyo Sky Tree. What else? I just went to uh, Busan Tower. I mean, it's so many towers. Each city I've been to in Asia has a tower where you have an observation deck. And as you can see, massive city. I mean, it's way bigger than I thought. I thought it was just an area over here. But you can see in the middle where we are right now is a big park. There's a stadium there, the tennis courts. There's like some amusement park here. And they also have like another part of the city right here. It goes to the south. Wow, just huge city. I mean, we are in a valley, so you see lots and lots of mountains. It's just so many buildings, lots of mid-rises, but then farther off into the distance, you have a huge line of skyscrapers. It really never ends. What do you think? Dude, we have this, practically have this observation deck to ourselves. There's like five other people here. It's amazing. And there's like, look at this. There's such comfortable couches, man. You can lounge. Over there, I noticed they're selling beer and coffee. It's like, you just chill up here for a long time. It's also nice and air conditioned. I've been to a few towers before where it's like insufferably hot. This is super comfortable. Yeah, and talking about towers, check these out. Here you have everything to scale. Sydney Tower, been there. Dagon Tower, been there. Seoul Tower, haven't been there yet. <laughs> The Oriental Pearl Tower, been there. Eiffel Tower, been there. I haven't been to the one in Moscow either, but this is really cool that it just gives you like the, the comparison of how big it is. And yeah, like, like uh, Sam said, they have a cafe. Epic views, huge windows. And then here we have something called a sky jump. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just gonna enjoy these views. And wow, man, hey, Daegu's way bigger than we thought. Way bigger. So David, something we noticed after kind of wandering around the observation deck is that there's one entire neighborhood that is being like totally demolished in a traditional part of the city. It's like completely demolished. There's a little oasis of maybe some condemned buildings right in the middle. No idea why they're still there. Maybe they just haven't got around to demolishing them. But that's definitely an area that's going to be earmarked for either like a big building facility or high-rise apartments. Oh, that's kind of hot. <laughs> We're having a green tea latte at the moment. I got the hot one. David got the cold one. Both delicious, frothy, sweet. Man, such a good price. 2,900 won. Ichon Gubek won, which is like $2.50 US cents. Oh man, super affordable for a tower. Normally they fleece you for food and drinks, but over here, very reasonably priced. I, I, I definitely have taken notes and appreciate that. Yeah, this matcha espresso latte is so good, so cold. It's a perfect way to like start off our day here. And yeah, like half this observation deck is a coffee house. This one right here, I mean, as you can see, lots of tables. And then on the other side, we have that sky jump, which I'm never gonna do. And then, yeah, and after this, we're gonna go down, get on the cable car, and head straight to the market. Gambe. We just exited 83 Tower, or Daegu Tower. As you can see, it's right there. 
and we're walking over to the cable car. The cable car is next to the gift shop and right below us we have an amusement park. I think we're gonna go over the amusement park with the cable car. It looks really nice. I love cable cars. It really depends where it is. I went on one that was a little scary in Venezuela where it was like swaying back and forth in the middle of a mountain. But, uh, but usually they're really fun. You get great views from there. And yeah, after this we're gonna eat some street food. I'm really hungry. It's already noon, so it's time to go eat. So right next to the cable car, they have this ride. I don't like this ride, I've done it before. I just hate feeling my stomach fire to the top of my, my throat, you know? It's, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Skyway, what's the cost of the Skyway? It doesn't say the cost. I'm, I'm not sure if it costs money at all, but it should, it should. I've never been on a, on a cable car that's free. Maybe it's free? Let's see. It's free. This is amazing. It's free. It's free. Hey, the coolest surprise. Wait, what's that? So we're going over the amusement park. Lots of different rides here. Really cool. I mean, you see everybody in the bottom. Look at that. I love that ride, by the way. Yeah. It just sways back and forth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's I, a lot I, easier. I, I hate all the rides. Oh, they're, they're scary. All of them scary. <laughs> Everyone. I, I used to like roller coasters or anything that can make you vomit. You know, yeah. it's not. It's not fun. Yeah. Wow, and look, great view, great view of uh, Daegu Tower right there behind us. And just incredible view over an entire city. This was basically a park and they made an amusement park inside it. And that's it, it only took 10 minutes. And actually, this is a little different, these little cable cars, because they have a forward and a backwards. You can face back or you can face forward. And yeah, guys, let's catch a taxi and let's go eat. Dude, I'm hungry. This city is much bigger than I anticipated. I mean, it's huge. Six freaking lanes. huge. Six lanes on each side. I mean, that avenue is giant. Oh man. That's that's double the US one, which is the main highway in Miami. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going through a back alley right now, trying to get to Somon. Somon? Somon. Yeah. Somon market. Yeah. And this market is a traditional market. They have over 4,000 stalls. This is the last remaining market from the Jailson Dynasty. Wow. Wow, that's cool. That dates back. That dates back how long? A long time ago, I'm not entirely sure, but. A few hundred years for sure, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And so there's street yeah. food, there's textiles, there's souvenirs. If there's dog boogie, <laughs> we're grabbing it. We have to. We're on a roll. Every time we have street food, we got it. So. Dude, it's delicious spicy that's, rice. That's the one must. That's the must have every time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be there in the next like three minutes. Sweet. Some of that, some of that. Wow, here we go. Market, Selma Market. I think we're the only foreigners here, which is great. I love that. Let's see, super local market. Wow, dude, hey, Sam, it's massive. So these special pots are used for basically storing uh, spices, basically different kinds of Korean paste. So red pepper paste, soybean paste, it's amazing. You gonna buy some? I'm thinking about it, seriously. I'm seriously thinking about it. I mean, I'll have to find out the price, but if it's reasonable, I may get one. Walking through the beginning of the market, as you can see, it's just a lot of kitchenware. Lots and lots of kitchenware, lots of vegetables. I've never seen this before. Look at this, roasted nuts. They have these like circular, uh, I guess like little drums that turn and turn and turn. They're roasting the nuts in here, pull them out, and they're for sale. Right across from the roasted nuts, we have super dried fish. We have prawns, we have fish, we have seaweed. We have like anchovies, and then over here we have like a massive amount of nuts. I mean, this market is crazy big. This is just one vendor right here, one of 4,000. Wow, this is blowing me away because I've never seen it like this. Like I've never seen a market with all this stuff in this in this presentation. Han, hana, just say oh. Yeah. The uh, Hana. Oh no no, any uh, puju jan. Hana, just say oh. You really know Korean, huh? Uh, Okay, so we're starting off our street food tour with Pejujan and Pujujan, which is basically cabbage pancake and leek chili pancake. And it also comes with a sauce here, it's like a soy sauce with some onions. Oh, this looks amazing. Each one of these costs 2,500 won, so roughly under two US dollars. Man, they look amazing. I'm gonna start with this one because the chili is right there. Oh, it's so good and so healthy. It's really amazing. Just straight leek, a little bit of chili, so it's a little hot. Very little batter. Dude, this is like extremely healthy. Yeah, and the portion is giant, man. Mmm. I really love the leek one. Super healthy, tasty. 
Wow, wow. Can't believe I'm trying something new in Korea like every time I eat. All right, I'm trying the cabbage now. Mmm, mmm. It's good. I mean, it's not my favorite. A lot more batter here. It's not kimchi, obviously, because it's kimchi's fermented cabbage. It's straight cabbage. It also has a little bit of leek inside. I feel like there's way more batter in this one, but if you mix it with the soy sauce, it's good. Mm. The only problem is, because we've got two of them, there's a lot of food here. I mean, oh, so man. much food. If we were to finish all this, we'd be too full to keep going. So I'm gonna lay off this for a second. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lay off or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna make some. Why not, right? Why not, man? Dude, it's so good. YOLO. Mm. I like the spice here. Well, that was amazing. I mean, those are two different jeons I'd never tried before. I usually try kimchi jeon or hamu pa jeon. Those are some really unique jeons. Super delicious, huge portions, and like I couldn't believe how affordable the prices were either. Amazing value, man. They were too good. We had to leave half of that because if not, we wouldn't be able to keep going. We want to try at least four or five more things. And this area walking through is straight up like seaweed. seaweed. Dried seaweed, dried fish. Uh -huh. Dried everything. Yeah. Wow, bro, this is huge. I've, ne crazy. I've never been to a market like this. Like, yeah. Never. I know. This is Dude, this is something else. The size of that seaweed. I know. It's like you gonna take some home. <laughs> you get a whole new suitcase. Nah, I mean I love eating that. Yeah. That because it's salty, but mmm. Wow, this, man, this is crazy. So next up, we're trying a sweet. It's called Hodu Kwaja, and it basically is like this little ball. It's a little like waffle ball. Inside we have walnut and red bean paste. So I'm just gonna. Open it up for you, right? I haven't tried it yet. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Very nice. This thing I can feel is that it's very little batter. A lot of rubbing paste, like a lot. The big wana in there. Mmm. Very delicious. And you get 10 for 3,000, so like $2.50. It's a pretty good deal. Best thing to do is to buy this and take it as a snack. Maybe we'll take it on the train for later. And you can see right here the guy's making it. And he has this little machine. He just puts the water, puts the batter, puts the rubbing paste, and it's done. I highly recommend trying it when you come here. You can also find it somewhere else in Korea, in Seoul. Yeah, you can find these often at train stations and bus stations. Bus okay. station stops. Well, let's pack it up and let's keep going. Let's do it. This part of the market has a lot of crafts, clothing, souvenirs. I mean, lots of kids stuff. Yeah, so much clothing. I mean, it's just like endless pottery. And right across the street, on this side of the market, we have more street food. Lots of street food here. I see one vendor, this is like a lot of tempura, hot dogs, like donuts over here, more. This, this looks more Japanese, like little cakes. What else do we have? Oh, this is gonna be good. I wanna see what they have here. Mm. Soups, hello. Wow, this looks great. You gotta sit down one of these, man. So next up we found this lady and she has oden, which is basically like hot pot, right? And she has the fish sticks over here, she has the rice adok, but then she puts it into the red chili paste, so it gets really spicy. She also has these, which are like uh, the blood sausage, right? It has like intestines, lots of different organs. I'm actually starting off with that. I actually love this, I'm, I'm a big fan of morcilla. I eat this all day, oh this is so good. There you go. Oh my god, the textures of all the organs. Mm, very spicy. Wow. It's super spicy, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's like overload that red chili paste sauce. I mean, it's been bathing it forever. I don't know how long they've been sitting there, <laughs> but wow, that is hot. And this one costs 1,000 won, so like 90 cents. The, the fish cake as well costs 1,000, yeah. but the dough costs uh, 500? 500 is 500. the cheapest, half the price. Cheapest. I'll go for number two because I love this. If you love morcilla, you know, blood sausage, you'll like it a lot. It's very spicy. It's a whole different thing from the morcilla from Argentina. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very organic. <laughs> Dog hana juice. All right, so basically I said, please one duck, which is one rice cake. Oh my God. And what she does is says she, she changes the skewer, right? She gives it to you in a chopstick. And then she like drenches it, like bathes it in the sauce. I love the dog. Oh my god. Everyday dog. <laughs> We've had this like every day. Mm. Mm. Not as spicy as the last one was. I guess the last one had like absorbed it a lot. 
Mm, but a super thick rice cake. As you can see, it's like a big finger, right? That's what they call it. Like a finger rice cake. Mm, this one's a lot thicker, a lot longer. Pretty delicious, man. I love it. Mm. Mm. If I finish this, I'm not going to be able to finish anything else. So I'm going to let that go. Sorry. Odin Hana Juseo. So she's transferring it from the big stick to the little stick, bathing it in the gochujang sauce. And there you go. Here it is, the oden. So basically this one is a fish cake. Oh, fish cake hot pot. She put it in there. This is maybe the spiciest one, dude. This is the spiciest one? Yeah, it absorbs it super. And the blood sausage was super spicy. Mmm. <laughs> oh man, I just love the fish cakes. The fish cakes in Asia are amazing. This one's super spongy. Mmm, got some herbs in there. It's almost like it's almost like the rice cake, but with fish, you know? So it's like fish. Just the same thing. Very dense. Oh, it's spicy. Super spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. No. Oh. This might be the best one. Yeah? For sure. Oh. Oh yeah. Can you taste it? I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after that really spicy meal, we're gonna cool it down with some shike, which is a cold rice drink here in Korea. If you guys didn't know, Korea is the land of rice. Here, as you can see, it's very cloudy, very milky, right? But at the very bottom, you have all these grains of rice. Oh wow, super refreshing. It reminds me of like sugarcane water. Oh, that's so nice. Super cold. So the very bottom, you have all this rice, right? It's very clumpy, so you gotta mix it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, so nice, so nice. Oh, you got a lot of it there. You got a little bit of brain freeze. <laughs> oh my god, you all right? <laughs> oh. oh, but the heat's gone. He's gone. All right, so next up we're trying a sweet, sweet Korean dish. It's called hotok. It's basically a donut with sugar and seeds. They're making it right here behind me. You see the lady grabbing the dough. She puts a bunch of sugar, seeds, throws them in the fryer. The guy next to her just keeps flipping them over, flipping them over until they're done. Then they move them over to these cups, and they're really, really hot. I mean, they're really hot. Oh, look at that. Right there, you can see the seeds, you can see the sugar. Oh, dude, I'm burning, I'm burning. And here we go. He said it's extremely hot, and it is. It's burning my hand. Awesome. Oh my god. Mm. The outside is really cooked, like crispy. Oh. Mm. Hot. <laughs> and the inside feels like elephant ears at the fair. That's, that's like the, exactly the same thing, right? And then inside you have a lot of sugar, like a layer of sugar. Bunch of seeds, dude, it's freaking amazing. Super sweet. Mm. And only 1,001. 1,001, that's it. I'm good. I'm gonna take a break from food for a bit because I'm extremely full and this market is really endless. And this area right here, we have some cool like Avengers. We got some, you know, some Spider-Man, we got some Iron Man clothes, but all for kids, all for like little girls. I wanna buy something for my daughter, let me see. If I find anything I like, I saw another one over here. Where are they? Yeah, they have a lot of stuff here. I mean, shoes. This is a lot of kids stuff. Big kids section. Wow, it really doesn't end. The amount of stuff here is just really incredible. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what I find here. I'm gonna find some Spider-Man, some Iron Man. Iron Man all day, Robert Downey Jr. So like I said, I've been looking for some Spider-Man, Iron Man stuff. I found some pretty cool stuff I and mean, this is like you know obviously it's not official Marvel gear but it's really cool and I just I don't know I'm thinking about it it's like only 8,000 so like seven bucks and that's yeah. pretty affordable everything else I've seen is like 30 or 40 dollars and this is for my baby you know just something she can wear in the house I like this one though yeah it's right. cute <laughs> I'm gonna take this one it's so cute man and then the, you have the other one the the bigger one nine 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 red red yeah. no red red, red, red. red. Uh, less, price lower. Same. All you have to ask to do, you just gotta ask for a discount. Discount. She gave me 2,000 off. Oh, come tell me that. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Come tell me that. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool. 
Let's take it. Guys, this has been one of the most epic markets of all time. I mean, it is so huge. There's so many things to buy. I mean, we bought some clothing. We bought food, obviously. We ate so many delicious things. Oh my God, my favorite thing. It might have been that blood sausage, man. <laughs> that blood sausage and maybe the pancake in the beginning, the leek pancake. Oh, it was so good. A little spicy, chewy. I mean, great place to come if you want to eat street food. There's a lot more stuff. I mean, we just scratched the surface in terms of street food. But just come here, besides for the street food, come here to see the market. I mean, this place is huge. Multiple buildings, multiple levels. We're here on this first level and you can see it doesn't end. Over 4,000 stalls. 4,000. Can you believe that? I mean, I've never been to a market this big. And this is like real authentic Korea. The only foreigners here are me and Sam. No one else. You have great deals. And yeah, I think you should come to Daegu and see this market for yourself. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel, Sam's channel. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in South Korea. Peace.